What is up you guys and welcome back to the vlog. I know, uh, my vlogs are basically non-existent since I posted the first one, but I swear I'm getting back into it. The holidays were just really crazy for Trent and I and our family and you know, I was just enjoying time with the family and just didn't vlog. My goal in 2021 is to get a much better with vlogging and there's a lot of things I have to fill you in on. So first of all, look at that. That was actually a recent addition. So I was watching my videos back and I'm like, I just, I'm not happy with like how the background is. And I'm like, I wish there's something like I could add. And Trent and I were like playing around with trying to like stage stuff. And I just wasn't happy and I was like, wait, why can't I just put some lighting back there? So what I have here is I just did, I got a really big curtain rod from Walmart and then got some sheer shades and like twinkle lights. These are actually two different ones, but you can't tell what I'm filming. I just grabbed whatever sheer drapes they had from Walmart and they were so cheap. These ones were $5 and then these ones were $6. And then the lights, they actually dim. And so not only is it like awesome for whenever, you know, I'm filming, but you can like make them lower, you can make them brighter, you can make them do like different things. Let's see. Some of them are like a rave. Yep, there it is. But it's also kind of nice where it's like, if I'm just laying in bed, like binging Netflix, it's kind of really nice. Yeah, okay, sorry. I should have given like a disclaimer here. All right, back to the nice, beautiful sort of nice lighting there. But I'm really happy with how it turned out. And I'm so excited because I think in total, I think Walmart had the curtain rod. Actually, you didn't see anything there. But the curtain rod, I think it was like mismarked because this like huge curtain rod was marked down to like seven dollars <laughs> so i scanned it i swear they must have misentered it so sorry i'm like just got done filming a video but there's like so many new things that i need to show you well one of the most exciting is look at that new ring light it doesn't want to actually show me but this was a black friday deal oh my gosh i had been looking for a new ring light. I had some like smaller ones that I wasn't super happy with the lighting that it off put. So it was actually really funny how I figured it was on sale. Trent was on the hunt for a PS5. He didn't get it on launch day. He was literally on the hunt for it for so long. And so I had turned on tweet notifications for these like accounts. And so had he, and one of the accounts tweeted out, oh, you know, 17 inch or 16 inch ring light on sale. And it was the one I'd looked at. And this ring light y'all, it's originally $160 and it was on sale for $50, $50, which was less expensive than both the ring lights I had been using. And so I was like, well, I'll just return the other ring lights. I hadn't used them more than a couple times. And now I have a better ring light for less money. So I'm gonna pat myself on the back for that one because deal shopper right here. But I also have an unboxing to do for you guys. Trent's gaming, so if you hear him yelling, that's why. But I have an unboxing to do. So let's go ahead and open up this box. So I will admit, I got sucked into one of the thousand ads you probably see for Growth Collaborative, and I will warn, do not click one of those links unless you want all of your sponsored ads to be of something similar. I swear, I clicked, I got sucked in by one ad. I think it was like maybe a, even a Facebook story. And literally, Ever since then, all of my ads have been about the Growth Collaborative or you know similar companies. But I got sucked in because they were running a promotion of you got a free glass bottle, some concentrates, some like rags and things if you spent I think $25. Um, and so I was like, I'll give it a shot. We really want to move towards you know having more non-toxic products in our house. Um, just so we're already there once we start having kids. That's something that's really important to me. So I thought, let's make the change now or at least start transitioning to that. So I went ahead, here is my box. It was really cute actually, let me show you. I need to like, there's all paper, no plastic, which is really nice. Um, I gotta see if it's on one of these sides. Yeah, so it was really funny because of course, of course, 
This showed up on a day where in the morning I got Amazon, later in the morning I got Shiloh's food delivered from Chewy, and then we go on errands and come back and there's another package on the porch. And Trent's just like, what else could you have bought? Well, I bought it a while ago. So, and it came two days early. So it wasn't technically supposed to come on the same days as all those other things. But I picked it up and it was so funny because someone had like handwritten, I don't know if you can see, have the best 2021 Tessa. It came from Elizabethtown, PA, which, oops, sorry, right there. It came from Elizabethtown, PA, so it's not too far from us. So maybe they just hand write a note on every box. Pretty impressive. But you on my, you're on my tripod, sorry, so it's not as mobile. But here are the products that I got. I will kind of walk you through everything and say what was included in the free bundle and then what I just decided to purchase on my own. So here are the all-purpose cleaner concentrates so these are little glass bottles that you just put into the like the sprayer and combined with water and you automatically have a full bottle of cleaner as opposed to getting the plastic bottles over and over and over again you just repurchase these it was seven dollars for two and i think that they said each of these let's see it says empty cleaning concentrate into reusable cleaning spray bottle and then re add water to the bottom of the bottle, replace nozzle shape to mix. So you basically add this to the cleaner bottles, which I will get out and then you add water and then all you have to do is repurchase these. And so I think it comes down to like 350 each, but I would say that's pretty in line with what I'm spending on cleaner and this is all natural. So this is the orange and rosemary scent. It smells really good. I really like it. I'm wondering if Trent's gonna like it because we tried, my mom uses the Young Living Thieves cleaner, but I was starting to use it around the house and Trent's like, what does that smell? I was like, what do you mean, what does that smell? And apparently he hates the smell of thieves. So I don't use it anymore. So I'm hoping he actually likes this because it's the scent of all of them that I got. So we'll have to deal with it for a little bit if he doesn't. So. In total, I got the all-purpose cleaner, the tub and tile cleaner, and then also the glass cleaner. I thought I would start with those three because they pretty much cover our entire um, apartment. And then I can move out. I think they had one specifically for, I think they have one, it's not like a spray, but they have one for your, your toilet, for your floor. We use a shark, or shark steam mop, so we don't have to use any floor cleaner, which is why I didn't get that one. But then, but the all-purpose cleaner was the free cleaner that I got. Both of those containers um, along with one of these spray bottles, which is here. I got, let's see, so I'll take this out. Um, so you can see it just comes in like a nice brown box, recyclable, obviously. Um, oh, they're so cute. I know it's for the aesthetic and some of these things you pay for the aesthetic, but it's actually really nice. It's not super huge, so it won't take up like a ton of space. I have one of my favorite all natural cleaners from Target that I just haven't been able to find to repurchase is this Everspring here. Um, this is the lemon and mint scent. It's really good. So you can see the difference in the size, but obviously this one's glass, so it'll take up less space underneath of our sink. So basically for the free bundle, if I'm not jumping around too much. So I got the free um, glass container with the silicone base. I got the two pack of the all purpose cleaner. Oops, just dropped them, great. I got these walnut and cellulose scrubber sponges. I thought these were going to be similar. We love like the scrub daddy, scrub mommy, scrub grandma, grandpa, I don't know how many lines they have, but we love those. Um, that's what we use consistently. I thought these were gonna be more like that where they're hard when they're cold and then when you um, get them wet with warm water, they like loosen up, but it feels like they're kind of just normal sponges, but they are free. So it's worth a shot to give them a try. And then I actually spent over $25. Um, and so I got an additional free product, which are some microfiber all purpose cloths. They kind of remind me of the feel of Norwex. I'm not sure if any of you guys have ever used Norwex, but we really like it. Um, and these actually feel pretty similar to that. Obviously you don't have the same benefits as Norwex, but I think they'll be good to clean with. 
All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you all the products kind of lined up so you can see. Um, so here they are lined up. Don't mind all the packaging. Here is the microfiber cloths, the walnut and cellulose scrubber sponge, all of the different all-purpose tub and tile and glass cleaner, and then the super cute little glass containers. Um, I guess I'll have to see how much they make as far as ounces, but I really don't think it's like that expensive um, for them being such a reputable company and kind of like their clean, eco-friendly values. So I think it's worth it. Um, it obviously is not as convenient as go running to Target and getting cleaning supplies, but they do allow you to put things on auto ship. I'm not gonna do that at this point just cause I don't know how long it'll take for me to get through these items. But once I kind of have an idea, I probably will put them on auto ship. Or actually now that I think about it, maybe I put them on auto ship every six months because you do get two of these. So we use a lot of all purpose cleaner, but the tub and tile and the glass cleaner will probably last us a while. So I will go ahead and link the Grove Collaborative below if you've never gone to their website or never heard of them. And I'll also be doing maybe a fall video on how I like all of these products, but I'm really excited and optimistic that I'm going to like them and we'll kind of, you know, get on the way to less toxic cleaning products. So it's been a few weeks actually since I filmed some of the other footage that's gonna be in here. And so I wanted to kind of do an update on what I'm thinking of my Grove & Co company, like in my Grove & Co products. So I got, as you just saw in the footage, I got the all-purpose cleaner, the glass cleaner, and the tub and tile cleaner. Um, I'm trying to remember exactly right now, like how long ago that was, but this is kind of like where I'm at with my first bottle. Um, it smells delicious. I got the rose, no, the orange and thyme, um, orange and rosemary. I think it was orange and rosemary. Um, but one thing I will say, absolutely love like the containers, the smell of it's great. It cleans really well, but it's going, it's, I don't know. I, I haven't even had this a month. Like I think I probably had this two or three weeks maybe, and it's already, over halfway gone. I guess I just didn't realize how much spray we use. I mean, Trent loves to like have the counters be very clean. So I mean, they probably are wiped down probably once or twice a day at least. Um, and maybe we just use more product. But I think it was, I'm trying to remember, it was like $6.95 for two containers and one container of concentrate filled this up. So I guess that means for $7, I'd end up getting two of these. I'll have to see in ounces what that comes out to because there is the Everspring line from Target and I was using that. I think that's only like $3 for like a big bottle. So I'll have to see if like this is really worth it because now that I have like the glass containers, I might try and compare the ingredients and the cost benefits of doing Grove & Co versus trying to find it at Everspring. The only trying to find Everspring at Target. The only thing I will say is that that brand and the scent that I like, I only like, I think it's lemon and mint or eucalyptus and lemon. Um, absolutely love that scent, but they don't always have it. And I am kind of particular when it comes to my scents. Um, so I did want to just do a quick update on this. I love the container. The sprayer is great. It smells lovely. It cleans my counters. Um, I don't know actually if I use any of like the, we're trying to finish up other bathroom products that we have before we jump into the tile cleaner and the glass cleaner. Um, but we'd run out of counter spray. Um, so I haven't tested those yet, but so far it smells great. So I guess I'll have to do the cost comparison and figuring out maybe use this and then go back to Everspring and see which one works better. Um, but I did just want to do a quick update on the Grove & Co products. I haven't used the walnut scrubbers or the microfiber cloths yet, but just because we had like other sponges that we wanted to use at first, but I did want to do a quick update on that since I'm going to be including the footage here. So I'll probably just insert this check-in right after that footage. So you're completely gonna go from seeing me be all done up to this, but that's just life. All right, so I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. I was gonna end it on a good note. Shiloh is over here. Say, so, do we wanna end it on Shiloh's face, huh? So you wanna say hi to everyone, huh? Say, I played it. She is like the biggest, she's like the biggest fan of snow. Why are you running away, huh? You gonna go see dad? Trent's playing video games right now. Um, but she's probably gonna go hide back there. And yes, we still have our mini Christmas tree up. It's just nice to like turn on the ambiance of the Christmas tree sometimes at night. And 
I just haven't put it away yet. But I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. I will, I think I'm gonna go film and test out some of the makeup products that I just got in my haul. Um, but yeah, so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next vlog.